Hello everybody, it's Night and Sniff! Oh. And we're reading the domino effect. Oh man, this comic is so good. If you have not read it, d d go go read it. It's like, it's it's so good. It's so good. It has chalk, but it also has... Oh man, I don't even know where to start with all the stuff this comic has. It's made by Beltbuster, who's a really epic guy. Um, check him out on DeviantArt. And support them on Patreon or support them on DeviantArt with subscriptions. Yeah. But anyway, before we get to the get to the wacky hijinks, um, this video is sponsored by Weight Gaming for their annual Game Jam, which is one of my favorite events of the year. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. The get as of recording, the the Game Jam opens in, in uh, just under two days on August fifteenth. And then you have two weeks until August 29th to make a game. And you can win epic prizes like first place, $500, $250 for second, $100 for third, as well as $50 runner-up prizes. Um, definitely head on over there to have a look at the details. Or if you you know just want to see what games everyone else is making, because there are some bangers that always come out. So basically last time, uh, Emma was bla uh, blackmailing that one guy into helping her with whatever her plan is. Vroom, dun, dun. Looking like some friggin' moody protagonist there. <laughs> Emma, is something wrong? Why are you asking me for this? Can't you just talk to Nikolai about this? Like, that Snapgram post suggests a lot. If you just asked him out, there's no way he'd refuse, right? I'm sure he would be supportive. <laughs> Listen! How about you mind your own freaking business, Mr. Surfer Bro? I have all my reasons, and all you need to do is just comply. Any objections? Understood. Ma'am? No, no ma'am. Man, she's scary, Emma. <laughs> also, I'm not sure it is so simple with Nikolai. He, he, he's weird. <laughs> Humph! You don't have a partner for the school project yet, right? I've yet to pick mine, it would be best if we grouped up to get a good excuse for you to come to my house. I trust that you agree. I'll see you tomorrow. R right. What am I even doing? I just can't stop thinking about the party! About how I stuff myself silly, expose my gut to everyone and... And... Nikolai caressing my belly? I just can't get it out of my mind! Ah! I was already so in love with him, and now I keep fantasizing about him making me a fat greedy pig! I love your face here, what is that? <laughs> Emma? It, it just keeps replaying in my head! It's like I need it to happen again! Again and again! N nikolai Emma! Blink. H huh We home? You alright? Had a weird look on your face there. Huh? Yeah, I'm fine, stupid. I was thinking about school duties, that's all. Let's not make our parents have to wait any longer for dinner, alright? Alright, so this guy's a brother, right, not her dad. <laughs> alright, alright. Oh, that's a, that's a not a bad looking house throw they got right there. Oh my gosh, her family. Wow. So, how's school, Emma? Been going well? That is the most Scandinavian looking family I ever did set eyes upon. Yeah, everything's been fine, no issues. The school group, the group school project is coming up soon, so I am hoping that goes well. That's good to hear. I hope it goes well too. And how's college been for you, Marcus? It's been going well, Father. I ran into the girl I talked about the other week. Oh, you mean Evangeline? Her name's Evelyn. She said she was. Getting bigger. I wonder how my family would react. So how was the sleepover? Did you have fun at Nikolai's? Well, why do you think I was at Nikolai's house? I just said I was over at a friend's house. Wait, are you saying you have other friends now? What kind of hex did you cast on them for that to happen? Slam. Why? He's like, P other people want to be your friend, loser. Damn, you're a damn father, what the heck? No, you're right. I was at Nikolai's. God, he annoys me so much. Uh, at this rate, my dear little Emma will be lo a lonely 50-year-old cat lady living in her mansion all alone. What the hell, Dad? Oh, no, don't be so mean, dear. After all, our daughter always has her friend Nikolai to rely on. Just make sure you catch him soon before he gets away. Are you going to invite him over again soon? Mom! 
<laughs> Jeez, they really think Emma is like no one that... Does Emma have any other friends? I mean, maybe. Emma! I would be Emma's friend. I don't care. I don't know about that. <coughs> Nikolai's standards might be too big. Especially for an unpleasant gremlin like you. Too big? <laughs> Brother, why? <laughs> Roasted. I hate you all. Damn her family's mean. <laughs> Damn boy, she's freaking dead. I relate to Emma so much right now. God, did I really have to tease me like that? I mean, father and brother is just having fun probably, but mom's intuition sure can be annoying. My family, I swear. Slam. Ah, uh, let's just get into something more comfortable. It's been two years since I met Nikolai. I remember the first day of high school. Beom, beom. Little Emma, oh my gosh, that's adorable. <laughs> he kept staring at his phone, even during the opening ceremony speeches. We were seated next to one another for the first year. I never saw him interact with anyone or even talk at all. Yeah, Nikolai doesn't look so different though. <laughs> He was always looking down his desk or textbook and sometimes glancing up to look at the teacher of the blackboard. During recess, he would never leave his desk. He'd just look at his phone or eating, f his, or eating his food when it was lunchtime. Sometimes you'd see him giggling to himself. He was clearly trying to remain as quiet as possible, but most of the class would still notice it. Some found it to be awkward or weird, but I thought he was kind of cute in an odd way. I wonder what he's watching. Other classmates would go up to him, trying to get him to open up, but he would shrug them off with a cold shoulder and give a dead-end answer. This would carry on for a while, until one day... I love the sepia tone we've got here. <laughs> ...during a literature class, where we all took turns reading from the school text, I saw him shifting at his desk very nervously. He was shaking, and then... Nicola, if you would please read the next paragraph. <laughs> um... A look of... Sheer terror can't cover his face. Reading books? Oh, truly, a, a Zuma's worst nightmare. Huh? Uh, I, uh, I, um. <laughs> what a total loser. Don't you have some creeping to do? What? Can you read or something? Freak. Done. Nikolai, is there something wrong? Uh, I need to go to the toilet. Excuse me. Nikolai, wait, I haven't given you permission. But he's already out. When do I chat with him? Maybe it's a case of severe diarrhea. Lol. Why would they insult Nikolai like this? Just you wait. In like a few years time. All oh, everyone's going to be all over that man. <laughs> Excuse me, Teach. Would it be alright if I went and checked on Nikolai? He seemed quite distraught. And as president, I'd like to make sure he's a... Emma's the president? I should have guessed. <sighs> Alright, go ahead. Wait, this isn't the toilet. Damn it. Nikolai was lying! <laughs> this is not the toilet. Nikolai? Hmm? Why are you here? Hug? Uh, huh? Huh? Oh my gosh, this is the origin of their friendship. This is how their friendship started? Why the heck hasn't Nikolai got him with Emma yet? What the frick? Yeah. That's just like me for real, <laughs> JPEG. Man, if only I had a female companion who would give me hugs. Am I right, lads? I'm, I'm slash yes, but also serious. Yeah, that's all the pages we have for now, but we will be back with more pages of the Domino Effect because... Bro, I love this comic. It's so good. It's, it's so freaking good. There are more pages out on TVNR already, so go check them out and support them on Patreon or subscriptions.